going to do altar. We're not going to do altar call today. Instead, um, instead, um, I'm going to have you stand up, and I'm going to make an announcement. And um, after the announcement, I'm going to ask that you um, you leave church quietly and and don't talk about the announcement here in the building. Please, if you can, so y'all can stand to your feet. Um, before I make the announcement, I also want to say that um, my request to you is that you will continue to come to church and serve and give um, for the next you know little bit. Cause I don't want to have. I'm taking a little bit of a break, and I don't want to have to worry about the church. My break may be a few days, a few weeks. I don't know. Um, I got a call late last night. My wife has passed away, and yeah, and it was it was self induced, and it was uh, up in North Carolina. And um, we're going to have a funeral for her next Sunday here at 3 p.m. And so um, it's, it's all I can, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of going on um, adrenaline right now. So y'all pray for me and my kids and everybody. And uh, she was, she wasn't, y'all knew that she wasn't well mentally. And that uh, she needed the medicine that was hard to get to her. And so um, I'm sure there'll be more details to come. But um, just keep our family in your prayers. And I'm going to let Pastor Randall, my bishop, uh, he can pray. I get a microphone to pray out. And if you have anything you want to share as well, uh, I appreciate it. Hey, all right. Shalom, shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Hakudash, and double honors unto my apostles, the elders are great Muslims that rule well, and peace, love, mercy, and salutations unto the sincere brothers that are scattered, pushing the true doctrine of our Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity and in truth, and shalom unto the one third, which consists of men, women, and children. Who believe in our Lord Yahab Hashim al who are predestinated to be delivered in these last days. All right, now what you just uh, heard here um, <clears throat> is this pastor. And, you know, it says right here an investigation launched after a, a South Carolina pastor gave a bizarre speech at church saying his wife died of suicide just hours before the church service. All right, and, you know, <laughs> yo, this goes to show you, man. Okay. This is, uh, you know, so-called, you know, Christian, all right? And, hey, man, when you really look into it, all of these different weird, okay, um, you know, atrocities, death, etc., it's all done by these so-called Christians, man, okay? These so-called God-fearing people, okay? Which, you know, at the end of the day, okay, yeah, how about Shemel Shah is exposing them for who they truly are? Okay, a bunch of Edomites who still continue to do the exact same things in which they were created to do. Okay, but they try to hide it under Christianity. All right. And, you know, people like Vocab Malone, he's not going to speak about this. Okay, because it's you so-called Christians that are out here murdering people. Okay, causing all hell and so on and so forth. Okay, than any other people. All right. You see, so... It says right here, Michael Miller died by a gunshot wound to the head at Lumber River State Park in North Carolina. I think that's what it is. Okay, in NC. All right. Pastor John Paul Miller gave an entire sermon on Sunday before mentioning he found out his wife died the night before. He called it a self-induced death. Now, he did a whole speech. Okay. He went to church, did a whole sermon, all right? And then after that, that's when he talked about his wife's death. You see, nah, this nigga killed his wife. <laughs> you see, that's just my opinion, all right? Because it is very fishy, even when he was just talking about it. You see, it did not, it did not seem like somebody is actually mourning his wife's death, okay? And a gunshot to the head, you see? We're not going to do alter... Now, it says right here, Miller instructed the church to not talk about her death inside the church. Uh, Lumber River Park or Lumber River State Park where Micah's body was found is about 70 miles from the church. Micah's friend, friends and family are questioning exactly what happened and are calling for accountability. While Miller says his wife had struggled with suicide, Micah's family suggested that something more sinister could be going on. Micah was a God-fearing, 
joyful, loving woman who did not deserve the abuse she endured, a cryptic post from her sister read on Facebook. This has to be at least looked into deeply. There's got to be more accountability here, a friend said. Micah's final social media post was a selfie that read, When terrible, terrible, terrible things happen to you, y'all know I'm talking about RPF, resting peace face. According to court filings, Micah had filed for a divorce from Miller Reeks before she died. You see, it's just, you know, you see, it's just, it's just a lot of questions. But clearly, okay, you know, you can do, you know, add, you know, two and two together and just, you know, something is fishy going on right there, man. Okay, you see, but ultimately, you know, this is just used to show that, hey, man, it's it's these so-called pastors, these people, you know, that majority, you know, of their congregation looks up to are the ones who are wicked as hell, man. Okay, here it is, your wife died. Okay, you go to church, you do a whole sermon, and then, you you know, and then, at, man, you know, how do you even have, you know, the ability to be able to actually, you know, go up there and do all that, okay, while you're mourning your wife's death, okay? And the fact that it was a gunshot wound to the head, you see? Um, <laughs> yo, this is crazy. You see, um, and I read something earlier about it, um, you know, which I forget exactly how it went, but Khan, you see that it says, uh, by this, uh, Lolo man or whatever, um, it says he did, he definitely did it. Women typically don't use gun to off themselves. Men do way more often. Women use, um, pharmacological drugs. Okay, or pharmaceutical drug or whatever, um, overdose. Um, and it says also women or to overdose, um, also women are more likely to attempt but not to complete it. Usually men do. So somebody had to kill her, man. You know, that's you know, that was her opinion, but you know, it definitely sounds, you know, a bit more valid. But the scriptures tell you right here in the book of Galatians. All right. Uh, six chapter, um, let me get chapter, uh, six verse, uh, seven. Okay. It says, be not deceived. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. So if this man did it, you see, it's going to come, you know, it's going to circle back to him. All right. The truth is going to come out out of it, man. Okay. You see, because a lot of the time, you know, these people, they think that they can commit such acts and get away with it. Now, again, everything that had happened is under the will and the power of the Lord, Yahab Hashem Shai. The way that woman went out, that was, you know, believe it or not, according to the will of the Lord, Yahab Hashem Shai. You see? You see? Whether that's her judgment, hey, that's between her and the Lord. You see? And then also, that could have been used as a two-edged sword. You see, because you don't know, um, you know, uh, the Lord Yahab Hashemoshah had that man to do it. You see, you know, that could be his judgment as well. And so at the end of the day, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So the Lord Yahab Hashemoshah gives out sentences accordingly to everybody. Okay, you're not just going to, you know, be doing things and think that you're going to get away with it. You see. You're going to receive your reward, whether good or bad. Now, let's get the book of Job. Okay. Uh, chapter 4, verse 8. It says this right here. The book of Job, chapter 4, verse 8. It says, um, I'll start from verse 7, actually. Beautiful. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whosoever, whoever perish being innocent. Or where were the righteous cut off, you see? So the fact that this woman died that way, the scripture says, who died being innocent? Nobody. You see? Now it says, verse 8 is the point. Even as I have seen 
They that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. You see? Why? Because if you were created to do wickedness, that's what exactly what you're going to do for who had resisted the Lord's will. Nobody. So the scripture says that what? They that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of the Lord Yahweh Shai, they perish. And by the breath of his nostril are they consumed. The roaring of a lion and the voice of a fierce lion and the teeth of the young lion are broken. You see? Which goes into something else. But the point is what? Is that this woman died that way. She wasn't innocent. Okay? But if this man, okay, is out there plowing iniquity, okay, and sowing wickedness, that's what he's going to reap. Okay? That's exactly what he's going to reap, man. So at the end of the day, the Lord Yahabah Shemashai controls all. And the truth, okay, is going to be revealed. But the point of it all is that it's happening in these Christian churches, man. In which, you know, these so-called Christians, you know, are the ones who want to come and blame, okay, everybody else. When really, okay, they're the ones who are causing all hell. They're the ones who are causing all of these different, you know, uh, wickedness. Within the church, outside the church, all right? You see, it's a Christian church. That's to be blamed, man, okay? You see? Why? Because it's mostly Edomites that are the ones who are in power and ruling it and pushing forth their wickedness, man, okay? And, you know, it comes out, uh, you know, a situation like this where this nigga just went on to expose himself if he did it, which most likely he did do it, okay? Because all signs are pointing that, yeah, man, you know, your wife, okay, she filed for a divorce, <laughs> you see. And then a couple of weeks later, okay, gunshot, wound in the head, she's dead. Okay, and her family members are saying, nah, man, something's, you know, something is definitely going on. Okay, and then all the signs are pointing towards that, yo, what the hell is going on here? You did that shit, man. Okay, at the end of the day. Okay, the Lord Yahabah Shemoshai knows who did it. Okay, and whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. All right, so with that, Shalom, Yahabah Shemoshai, Barakatah.